for the Wiener Shake Show, Wiener Shakers. To get involved, please call 302 Ron Dom. That's 302 729 3664. 302 769 3664. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. And now, pull down your pants and squid box your gubba ghouls. Because we about to blow the lid off of this bitch. It's the Wiener Shake Show. And now, here's Greg Wiener. And Imran Sheikh. Okay. No, it's oh, over. Okay. I said it. You didn't record it. No, wow. now you want to do it. Okay. Ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Are you okay. supposed to do it with me? That, it was off. Okay. It's always going to be off. You know why? Google latency. You know what that means? What is this racist drivel you're playing right now? This music? Yeah. Royalty-free Arabic music. Yeah! It's actually pretty good, isn't it? That's me in the vocals, by the way. I d- oh, is that you? Yeah. When did you When did yeah. you record that? When did you When did you lay down those tracks, as it were? That was last week. We did that last week in uh, Miami yeah. and in Florida. Yeah, there's a big Arab Arabic music movement down here. Oh, I see. I see, and you recorded. Yeah, you should come down, man. You'd be you'd do great. Nah, yeah, I have that Aladdin vibe going on. As an old lady told me, <laughs> as she was literally drooling while talking to me. When was this? Yeah, well, I should be careful. Oh, here we I go. Be no, don't be careful. All right. Okay. I am swearing now. There is nothing out of fucking bounds for me. I'm done being careful. Greg Weiner, I'm done. It's boring. Hasn't gotten us anywhere. What's this? Oh, thank God. I don't know how this is going to play. Greg Wiener. Unbound. Unchained. He doesn't care about hurting associates, colleagues, co-workers. Nope, it's true. Friends, feeling. He cares only for himself, his turkey waddle, and his tear... Drop shaped man titties. Behold Greg Wiener. Behold Imran Sheikh doing something that would get us booted off of YouTube, which episode two did get yanked off of YouTube, by the way. Really? Did it? Yes. Why did, how did, what, what was the strike? What was it? Copyright? Because of Jai Ho, man. Because of what? Jai Ho. Oh. Uh, so that's why I went out. Jai Ho, bro. Remix that shit. I can't remix it. Ma faka. Also, you can't copyright strike Common Man, uh, Fanfare of the Common Man. That's a generic ass song. Yeah, no. It was from it was I, from a YouTube uh, video. No, Common uh, Fanfare. I, I'm pretty sure uh, is is not. Um, copyrighted anymore. I trust YouTube more than you. Fanfare for the common man is what got us st- struck because I find that hard to believe. It's public public domain. That's the word I'm looking for. Public domain. Jai Ho is not public domain. No, obviously pu- Jai Ho is not. I'm talking about fan. Uh, lots of an- you're building up the animus right off the bat and don't appreciate it. I got no animus for you, my friend. I'm saying... I'm saying, I'm saying fanfare for the fucking common man is probably uh, public domain, not Jai Ho. What is fanfare for the common man? You see, you're doing this on purpose because you're trying no, to rile I me up. No, I literally do. <laughs> I'm not. You're trying to rile me up. I'm not. I don't know what fanfare for the common man is. I've never heard that word. It's the fucking song I've been playing. God, God damn it. See, you got, me, uh, you got me hot already. You get hot when I don't know shit. You just assume everybody knows everything that you know. No. I don't know what happened with my speech there. Yeah, Monsieur... All right, all right, listen. Yeah? Listen, we're carnival barking right now. Let's... Let's get to the show. I've got cotton. You've got cotton. You're not allowed any cotton tonight. I gave you the night off of cotton. Oh, thanks. Good, because I really didn't have any cotton. I was just going to coast. Well, I know. Well, you were going to let me get to mine first, right? Welcome. It's episode 26... Stop, man. ...of the Wiener Shake Show. We are now on iHeart, Spotify, Get Out, YouTube, Spreaker, your mom. We're on iHeart and Spotify? Do you not get the emails I send you or the texts? I saw iHeart 
in the in notification, and I was like, okay, whatever. You didn't read it. I was cranking a loadout. What do you want me to do? You want me to like look at Stormy Daniels' tits or look at the emails you're sending me? I'm going to look at Stormy Daniels' tits. How many loads did you knock out today? Oh, man, I lost count at some point. The max is usually five, six. You're copying my my max number right now. It just physically gets raw. I mean, what do you want me to do? Does it, Have you really yanked your dick raw? Yeah. I mean, I suppose I could put some lotion on it or something, but that's creepy, man. I don't, I don't want to be one of those guys that lubes up just to jack off, you know? No, no. You know, you did get upset at me early on because I didn't know what whatever song you were talking about oh my god fanfare for the common man okay it's only the song i play every other fucking episode i've never heard you say the name of that fucking song is it is it uh public domain i I can't i can't uh get a clear answer on that is it i imagine it is all right when was it written okay here we go yeah uh okay googs Mm. when listen as they search for stuff online you know my point was is that you're so smart. 1942. It was written in 1942. It's pro- so it's not public domain, actually. No. No, it's not. So your little bit would be cut. Okay? Funny girl? What are you looking at now? Funny girl? Yeah, funny girl. Barbara Streisand. Who's Barbara Streisand? See, you see you how are, it feels? right now. You see how it feels? I know who Barbara Streisand when, is. Yeah, but you- I'm not going to get upset that you don't know something. I'm just going to ridicule you. I'm not going to get so frustrated. What's wrong with you, Imran? Why do you get so frustrated? Huh? Because I'm trying to put on a a quality show here, and I'm working with a baboon sometimes. (laughs) Hey, man, that ain't cool. (laughs) Oh, for fuck's sake, Dick Jones. Hi, hi, Imran. Yeah, yeah, how you doing? What's going on? I miss you, little camel. I didn't miss you, you son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah. How you been, baby? I've been all right. How you been? I'm good. I'm good. You lose any weight? Yeah, man. There ain't no food up in this house where Greg's staying at. That was a rhetorical question. How much weight did you lose, Dick Jones? I don't know, man. I I ain't trying to get that turkey water like Greg got. Yeah, you don't want that. He a simple looking Jew boy, man. All right, Dick. Fuck off. Dick, (laughs) offensive. Offensive. All right, I'll be back here. I'll be back here watching. Great. (laughs) Okay. That's, Jesus. <laughs> what do you mean you're just sitting there watching? I'm just going to pay attention. <laughs> All right, Dick. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. This is Dick Jones. Go- All it's right, Dick-, Dick Jones. Dick Jones, calm down. Calm down. Yeah. I'm calm, baby. Go- no. I just <laughs> feel I'm calm. Your voice is very tense right now. Calm down. I'm very, I'm very frustrated. There ain't enough food in here. I ain't got nothing to snack on. Well, it's not healthy for you to be, what is it, 400, 500 pounds? Greg <sighs> is doing you a favor by living in a hovel. Yeah, Dick. Hey, man. D- hey, don't call it a hovel. You don't know where I live. Well, I mean, if it's got no food in it and it's just you and Dick Jones, it can't be that, you know, can't be no. that fancy. You know what I'm saying? Tom Hanks may be here, too, so who knows? Oof. Yeah. You're, you're putting her through that. You know, Tom Hanks, the fact that she is willing to put up with your constant housing of my parents channeling the ghost of james gandolfini right and hosting dick jones and dr bill phil uh that, that's that's quite a that's she's a she's a keeper man i i would say she is she's very very nice very nice her and dick love each other they get along very well yeah i know she told me right I forgot. This music won't get us thrown off of YouTube. This is a a local Miami band called Black Hearts. Or Black Heart. I should probably know that. Nice. Yeah. I believe the term is African American Hearts. Okay. Well, they they are African American. This is is one of their songs. We're going to play it later. I'm not going to play it now because this ain't a fucking music show. It's a radio show. No, it's not. But uh, it's talk format, bitches. Yeah. That's right, uh, but you can find them on Instagram at Blackheart, and we'd like to thank uh, Jacqueline Lasik for the new show art. Oh, beautiful uh, show art. Yeah, great. Great shit, Jackie. Hey, is Jackie single, or is she... Uh... No. No, she's not single. You don't even know what she looks like, do you? No, wait a minute. You probably looked her up as soon as you saw her uh, Instagram tag, which is at evoked007. If you want to get a look at her, some more of her art, because she's a fucking goddess. Is she married? Does she post pictures of herself? Oh, hello. Uh, oh, her art Probably is really... not. 
That's are you looking no, at her art or are you looking at her? Is she is she married or is she uh, with someone? She's with someone. She's with a wiener shaker, actually. Oh, she's dating someone. Yeah, she's shacked up with a wiener shaker. So all right, all, all right. right. So there's you know there's possibilities. What's her name? Ja- Jacqueline? No, don't. Yeah, Jack. Actually, Quillen. Don't spell her name. I don't think she wants her name all over this podcast. All right, all right. You know. All right, we'll just call her uh, J- Jackie O. <laughs> Jackie 007. Jackie O'Nassis. Jackie 007, that's a good name for her. All right, Imran? Imran. I can't get a picture. I, I, need, a, I need to know who I'm complimenting here. Are you going to look up every person's name I talk about on the podcast? I just need to know how to spell her first name. Oh, you know what? I can probably get it off her Insta. Let's plug her one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here it is. At evoked007. Oh, how that's else how would you spell it. evoked? No, I was I was talking about how she spelled her uh, her first name. Because there's many ways to spell her first name. Hey, uh, evoked007. Imran's stalking you right now because he has an abundance of dick waste. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's say, hey, I'm not jerking off to her. I mean, let's not be crass, man. No? Oh, she's cute. Who she? Da- how long they've been dating for? Longer than th- I know of. I, I don't know. A while. A they've month, been dating a while. Two months, three months, no. a year. They live together. They've been together for years. They have a dog together named Cookie. You're well, not getting anywhere close. Well, people get tired of each other after a time, and you want something new. Yeah, I'm tired of you. <laughs> you're fr- you're free to host uh, shows with other. Uh, other uh, radio personalities. Are we per- are we radio personalities now? No, we're on iHeartRadio, man. That's like fucking huge. We're on just we're on another app. No, iHeartRadio is a big deal, man. It is a big deal. I mean, uh, we're potentially in the hands of millions and millions and millions of people, but I think we were there before iHeartRadio. It's just another directory, essentially. Here's a question for you. Okay. Would it excite you if you did porn and let's say for whatever reason you ended up doing it, okay? You got paid a, a, a gobbled ton of money mm-hmm. and it's n- it, was, it wasn't anything degrading or anything. It was actually quite nice and you enjoyed it or whatever, even though it's porn, you know, you're having sex on camera. Sure. But you did and then after that, the pay was going to be nominal, regular, like you'd make like 30 grand a year or something doing it but here's the th- kicker you become 30 grand doing porn yeah but here listen here's the thing though you become super famous and in the comments everybody compliments you and says you're amazing at it and they love watching you would that be enough to 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 keep you doing porn no Really? Yeah, no, and I know why you're asking this, because you've thought about yourself doing porn. No. And what it would take for you to do porn. No, no, no. No, I, this comes strictly from, so as you know, the pornography that I watch is is amateur porn for the most part. Mm. And it's, uh, I, I think I've, I've mentioned this site, not by name, but by what they do. And it's, it's very, it's very, I, I, I call it ethical pornography, where it's like, uh, no one's being degraded. No one's uh, being forced to do something they don't want to do. And it, it, uh, it seems as if though everyone is treated very respectfully and it's shot very respectfully. And it's, it's, and it's very... Does that bother you when you feel that women are being degraded in porn? I Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure they're on enough Xanax and Red Bull that they'll be fine. They don't feel the degradation. True. You know? True. They're pilled up. So I wouldn't worry about that. True. It's their job. Yeah, it's their job. No, but but a lot of the a lot of the women that they because they do stupid little interviews sometimes, and uh, some of the recurring women, uh, they mention over and over again that they partly come back because they loved seeing the the comments that people posted about them, and they loved. Oh, I believe that uh, the feeling that they get that there are guys out there that are sexually aroused by them and and by what they do and they've got a tangible result now with the comments section so oh com- comments on porn are amazing there's full twitter accounts dedicated to to porn comments and obviously they're comedic but it's a whole subculture man like who comments on porn who does that i don't know not me i love reading the comments oh yeah the comments are hilarious i haven't deep dove into 
porn comment section. I guess it's a bevy of fucking content there in there. Well, see, because again, I I do a lot of uh, a- I I I'm into a lot of amateur porn. A lot of it, it, I do Bing searches for it. Right. And so a lot of times, what ends up happening is you don't know what the name of the performer is, which is always a woman. Sure. Uh, who you're interested in? Sure it who is. I'm interested in? Right. And so you have to deep dive in the comments because in net invariably, if she's popular enough or if she has other material out there you can get her name because someone will say oh this is so and so i mean you have to wade through the the ra- racist comments the hitler analogies and uh oh man she looks like my wife or she looks like a girl i fucked right comments but once you wade through that you can usually get a name you get any uh islamophobic comments too um i don't really watch uh brown why uh, like like specifically South Asian porn. Why? I've seen some of these Indian girls. No, well that's the thing. They're not. They're not Indian. A lot of them are actually Latino. Latino. See that slip up you did. What? Latino for dudes. Oh, shit. Latina. Boom. Oh, Imran. Oh boy. Gay. Imran's gay. <laughs> Craig's gonna kick this ball around for a good month. Go. Does this get your dick hard, Imran? Listen to this Arabic man. Yeah. Or a Latino. Yeah, he got my dick real swole. What's he saying? Wow, that's loud and obnoxious. Yeah. Not just not just the one, but the two. There you go. So would I do porn just for the comments? No. You're like a superstar. Thirty thousand dollars a year though. That's nothing. But the comments people are saying is like, My God, you're magnificent magnificent. Oh, you're a god. You're you why I love uh, watching you, I, I, and it's women uh, commenting on this, and I say that because you're heterosexual, and right. obviously you prefer the company of women. Unlike you, who clearly just came out of the closet on episode twenty six. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Fine. What? I, you know, I, I am comfortable with my sexuality enough that if you're going to cast spurious. Uh, what you consider spurious remarks about me being gay, that's fine by me because... I don't consider it spurious. I don't think I don't think it's an insult to be gay or not. That that was actually a pretty cool thing when, uh, you know, there was lots of speculation about... I forget which celebrity uh, about being gay or not. And mm-hmm. he put out a pretty cool comment and he said, you know what? If that's what people think, that's cool because I gay people are human beings and yeah. uh, if, you know, I would be honored to be gay. You know, it, it was a... See, so. that's true. But I grew up... I grew up in a time uh, where the word gay was used as a negative connotation. I thought you grew up in a time when gay was used as happy. No. The gay 20s. That's fun. I'm 44, dick spit. Okay? Or actually, dick swallow, as we now know. Uh, as we... Uh, uh, which <laughs> good. is fine. It's not spurious. Uh, we know your age because of last episode when you quit. <laughs> when you canceled the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 44. You, you oh, lose man. That. If you didn't show up today, <laughs> uh, Imran, if you didn't, because we started 20 minutes late and I started again with the, oh, no. where's my life going? <laughs> um, I was like, if he doesn't show up, I'm just going to get in my car and I'm going to drive somewhere and I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, no, Greg. Yeah, no, my entire existence now is in your hands, Imran. Oh, that's good. No, I grew up in a time yeah. where the word gay was used as an adjective for something negative. Sure. And I didn't learn until I was doing a show with a gay man, actor. Sure. Gay man, that sounds so like I'm trying. <laughs> uh, with this gay actor who was hilarious, who with an actor who happened to be gay. Listen to Greg's struggle. Oh, was he hilarious to you, Greg? Yeah, he was funny. He, he flitted was about his- all over the place. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, ahead. you know what? He did he he did use his gayness to make people laugh, so I don't know. Yeah, he was a gay actor, and he was also an actor. On behalf of the Wiener Shake Show, I would like to apologize to the LGBTQ question mark you, community Christopher? out there. What is, how are you supposed to say that? What is it? The artist formerly known as LGBTQ? I don't know. Is that what you're supposed to... How are you supposed to pronounce the... The question mark. What do you ha- throw a hashtag in there while you're at it? I didn't hear about a question mark. I mean, sometimes the LGBTQ community needs to calm down a little bit. You know what well, I'm saying? Well, who's a question mark? They're identifying as a question mark. It's a thing. You, it's LGBT 
M-R-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T-U-V and then question mark and then a, a, an asterisk and a fucking bur- like Twitter icon. That's offensive. I don't know. It's a whole thing now and it's just like, look, listen, you know, LGBT was enough. Now we threw the Q on there. Now you're throwing in symbols. Is there really a fucking question mark now? I think so. This guy, actor, put me in my place because I said something was gay in front of him and it, as if it were negative Ooh. and it just came out. I didn't mean anything evil by there was no ill intent he goes you know greg (laughs) you know just just so you know gay isn't a bad thing and i was like i didn't mean it as bad yeah but you meant it as something that wasn't good Mm. so was this it had a negative connotation like it wasn't the proper thing so it was gay Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i was like no all right faggot you're right (laughs) Did you feel like a total shit heel then? Absolutely. And I didn't call it. I didn't use the F word. I hate the F word. It's disgusting. You know, it sucks because I, I actually, I, I, I kid and, and I try to play devil's advocate here, but I, I agree. You do? I mean, I, 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 I mean, it, I, I grew up uh, with, with that word being, uh, you know, gay being a bad thing. You know, you're like, oh, that's yeah. okay. You know, and like we, I used to say the F word all the time. I mean, as a, a term of endearment towards my friends but still in the way that you would say you know hey asshole you know obviously still negative but yes. also in a loving way right but but um like niggy how uh, i called you niggy oh jesus Christ. yeah and like how i called you chinko right uh and neither is racist we didn't mean anything racist right exactly i'm glad you finally agree with me Thank you. So you agree that Chinko is not racist? Wait, what did I say in the episode? <laughs> you said that Chinko is racist. Actually, you're right, I did, but I was just trying... I was pissed off when I said that. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Good. I Good. was pissed off that you threw a temper tantrum, so I was just uh, being uh, disagreeable whenever I could. Good. So as soon as you said Chinko, I said, don't say anything racist. Healthy. That's hel- That's a healthy thing to do. Oh, no. We are highly dysfunctional. Listen, do you, do you have cotton or what? Let's go. Let's get the show on the road. I do. Uh, I do have cotton. I got some would you rathers. Oh, good. Oh, great. Actually, you know what? Riveting. First, I want to talk <laughs> about this because you, Imran, you don't even know what it is. It's actually about you and you being a narcissistic millennial <laughs> will love it because it's all about you. And I want you to quickly explain in one minute and I'll time you. Maybe I'll give you two minutes if you're succinct and to the point. Because you're one of these people who post your political opinions all the and time. you write beautifully and, and you say things in, in very succinct ways. and, and Too much. I got to stop. Now. You know, you basically... Just spit your opinions on Facebook and Twitter. I know. I got to stop. Okay. And I view this posting as arguing online in your your little community to be analogous to basically standing in a closet and just screaming your thoughts and feelings into like a pointless, empty vacuum of other people screaming their own vacuous dribble. So if you can explain to me in one minute, what is, what are you doing? What, how are you helping anything? Okay. By writing this stuff? Because you're preaching to the choir. So, how is this doing anything? Okay. Answer the question. You're going to start do a, a, a clock on me or what? Uh, hold on. I wish I had a clock sound effect, but I didn't plan for this. Go. It's basically of twofold. One is for me to feel good and vent my frustrations. And to, two, it's to articulate them and hopefully have someone else think about them in that way as well so that they can hopefully articulate it to someone who has opposing and bad views and maybe convince them. And maybe, maybe, maybe there might be somebody out there who reads my post and says, huh, that made me think maybe Maybe the view that I had that's fucked up and wrong and racist and bigoted is wrong and racist and bigoted, and I should change it. Now, that's obviously uh, one in a million, but for real, it, it's, it, it, I'm not going to lie, it is preaching to the choir, but that manifests itself in uh, venting of frustration and getting it off my chest. But the secondary thing is to get that kind of middle ground people, middle of the road people, or even people who I'm preaching to, to be able to formulate their own thoughts and articulate. Because sometimes when I read other people's postings, it helps me articulate what I'm thinking and helps me Your minute's me up. Your minute's me. up. Your minute's up. Okay? That is it. I, 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 I'm happy with what I said. I think it, 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 it uh, 
fulfilled what I needed to say. So the action that you are hoping to accomplish is to reach that one in a million racist, yeah. right wing, conservative, close minded, uneducated fuck stick yeah. and convince them with your uh, liberal uh, snowflake dribble. You think that's going to work? Yeah. All right. I mean, I, I see it's it's hope. It's, waste. it's hope. Right. I mean, that's all we have. We all we have is hope. And, waste. and, and I also understand that words and actions are two different things but i do think words matter and i do think especially now because we're dealing with ideologies that are that are butting up against reality quite frankly and so all we have are our words in order to convince people otherwise it's violence and, and it's action and and you know i obviously i'm not a proponent of that i'm a huge pacifist and i think violence is not the answer for anything hmm. you know what now i know you think it's useless why? I don't think it does anything except get other... How many Facebook fights have you gotten into? Like, what's the result? There's no result. You have not seen one actionable result. When I say actionable, I mean something good action in IRL will actually evolve from it. Nothing has happened and you know it, right? No, no, no. I can't say that because I think indirectly maybe it does because maybe it gets someone who was not that involved involved. Maybe it gets someone to think, oh, I didn't know that was going on. I should get involved. I don't, you know, it may have had that effect on people or maybe it says, oh, that is what I was, uh, that's what I was thinking. I couldn't put it into words myself, but it's kind of wh where my head was at. He, he or she put it into words that I can, I can disseminate to other people and that can get me to take actionable charge because there are also people who post you know, not just rantings and ravings like I do, but also phone numbers to call, actionable things to do. So I do mm -hmm. think, yes, uh, it, it's just words that I'm posting out there, virtual words, pixels. But I do think they do have an effect indirectly. And I think it's a ripple effect. And I think it ripples out. And sometimes it's those faint ripples at the very uh, at the leading edge of of that ripple that sometimes does make a difference maybe it'll move a leaf a little bit you know maybe on on the pond maybe it'll move it just a little bit and maybe right. that will lead to another leaf moving that'll cause more ripples all right less in ripples but ripples nonetheless ripples i get it all right let, well then let me ask you this it's like oh you're not done it's like it's like quantum leap it's like quantum leap in the final episode of quantum leap we find out that dr sam beckett I'm going to get emotional here, so bear with me. Please do. We find out that Dr. Sam Beckett had been leaping. I just had a great idea. They should do. They should reboot Quantum Leap with Glenn Howard. That would be fucking amazing, wouldn't it? Anyway, so Dr. The guy from Quantum Leap was in an It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia episode. Oh, my God. It was one of the best episodes. It's actually, it's got to be their, one of their best critically critical episodes because it dealt with African Americans. Yeah, actually that was brilliant. That that episode brought me to tears. Anyway, so what I'm saying is like when Dr. Sam Beckett leaps and leaps and he finally con confronts uh the guy who's been making him leap, well, uh, allegedly making him leap, we don't know who it is. Maybe it's GOD, the big guy. And he goes mm. and Dr. Sam Beckett's like, "I can't do this anymore. I want to go home. I I'm not uh, so I changed one person's life. Big deal. I want to go home. I miss home." And, and he's like Sam, you don't understand. Every time you ch helped one person, you didn't just help that one person. You helped a thousand people because that one person lived a good life and helped other people. And then those people helped other people. And then those people helped other people. So it's a ripple and it's it, it, it trickles. It's trickle. True trickle down comes in good deeds, not in an economy. All right. So I'm Dr. Sam Beckett, basically. Okay. Now. Let me ask you this. All that being said, Imran. Riddle me this. <laughs> would you rather have knives for fingers or penis for fingers? <laughs> Dick hands. Which one? Go. Knives for fingers or regular fingers? No. Would you rather have knives for fingers or penises for fingers? Okay, so here's the thing about this. In high school, there was a few jokes that I was really proud of. One of them was the weenus, and I would go around asking my friends, can you imagine if your dick, instead of like that little mushroomy head, right, mm -hmm. it was a tiny hand, and that hand what? had fully articulated fingers on it, and you shot sperm from each of those fingers, a weenus. Like Spider-Man, a weenus. 
Yeah, and and here's the kicker too. It wouldn't just be like you know how your 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 hands articulates just in one direction. It just goes inside. Mm. What if this weenus could go fully back? You know, reverse too. Can you imagine the pleasure you could deliver to a woman with a weenus? Oh, he- did I say? Did I say weenus? I meant hendis. I called it hendis. H e n d i s. Hendis. Man, a hendis. What the hell is that Indian son of a bitch talking about right now? Hold on. Dick Jones, if you don't shut the fuck up, yeah. I'm going to shove a, a, a Hendis that I find online, a silicone one, up your butt. Oh, that sound, that's not very nice, Imran. You're very abusive. And you're very nasty. I'm very nasty. I'm very nasty. Very nasty. Good, thanks. You're nasty. You're very nasty, Imran. Pronounce a consonant or two sometime. Also, weenus. Is the part of your elbow skin that hang off. My mama used to play with my weenus all the time. And I would laugh because she would say, Hey, you dick, I got your weenus. We get and it. And I laugh and go, Mama, that's just my elbow fat. Salacious. Okay, dick. We get it, yeah. <laughs> Salacious. Listen, I misspoke. I meant Hendis. Uh, a weenus. Okay, your mom used to play with your weenus and she called you dick. Hoo hoo, ha ha, he he. We get it. We get it, dick. You know, I, 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 I'm a little, a little, uh, a little up to here with uh, Dick Jones already. I got it. She used to make me Peter Pockets on Tuesday nights, man. What? And she fed it Peter Pockets. <laughs> <laughs> we could. <laughs> That's like calling a car a car car. <laughs> man, my mama called them Peter Pockets because she used to work at the Peter Pockets around the corner. That's before the sickle cell took her. You, your mother died of sickle cell anemia. Okay, I guess you can. Yeah, she did. Why is that? Hard? Why is that hard for you to understand? <laughs> who asked that question? Was that was that Dick Jones who asked her, or was that you, Greg? Can I tell my story? Shh. Can I tell my damn story, Imran? Go ahead, Dick. He's getting angry again, Imran. Don't get angry, Dick. Dick, calm down. You know, I don't seem the way that Imran put his fingers through his hair like he above this kind of humor, Greg. I saw that too, Dick. I'm not yeah, above man. anything. Listen, just think about some yeah. turkey legs or something, all right? It'll calm you down. Tuesday used to be Peter Parker night. And my mama would fill them Peters with all kinds of things. <laughs> okay, Dick. As opposed to what? P- are you crying? Are you crying, Dick? <laughs> no, man. Dick, why are we talking about this? Because it was Tuesday, man, and you didn't feed me enough, and I'm thinking about my mama. Oh, do you have an emotional link to eating? Is that why you overeat? Because you think of your, mo- your, quote, mama, unquote? You don't know me, Indian. Okay. So that's a yes. All right. All right. <laughs> that's a yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe I do. Okay. Well, all right. Well, uh, yeah. You got to stop doing that, Dick. Otherwise, you're going to, I mean, you're already grossly overweight and it's unhealthy. We want to keep you around, Dick. We enjoy your company and we want to make sure that you're healthy. Man, that's real nice of you, man. I like that picture of you with that turban on your head. You look funny. Okay. <laughs> It's not fun. Don't encourage him, Greg. Don't laugh, because that just makes him. <laughs> you look, you look funny, man. Yeah. With that turban, they should put you on a camel, like your hair it's my... on instead of a camel having a camel head, like Beetlejuice, like Beetlejuice. You're getting real surreal tonight, there, <laughs> Jesus, Dick Jones. Dick, man, it's it's that lack of food, baby. Okay. Hey, Dick, thanks for coming by. Why don't you go out and I think there's some Publix bread left. Well, I don't know. Imran be picking them boogers out of his nose. Maybe I can eat that, you foul, nasty motherfucker. Uh, 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 I'm fat. I'm fat. I'll say okay. foul. He said foul. Well, it's hard to tell what Dick Jones is saying with all the fat in his mouth. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You're just blatantly picking your nose right now. Yeah, I'm picking my nose. It's radio. Who's looking at me? I can do whatever. I'm looking at you. You were insistent that I keep the camera on all of a sudden. You had to have the camera. I can crank loads throughout this whole show. No one will know. I think we would know, Imran. You wouldn't. I can stealth crank. I Okay, here's the thing. I one time slept with a woman. And she was cute. And she, for only time, I've slept with a South Asian woman. And How big was her dick? 
It wasn't that. It was like four or five. Wait a minute. Oh, no. You got me. Okay, so you banged a South Asian. South Asian. Did she have the whole, uh, the whole get up? Yes. Yes, yes she did. <laughs> she did. I demanded that she have the, yeah. quote, whole get up, unquote. <laughs> Uh, d- uh, uh, before, during, and after. Uh-huh. Post-coitus, especially. Uh, and we're, we were going at it. And, uh, you know, as is my way after I g- got off my stop, as it were. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I, uh, you know, I was like, did you... After you came. <laughs> okay, Dick. Ow. Thank you. Thank you, Dick. Thank you. Thank you, Dick. What the fuck was that? Oh, no, no, because he said he got off for the stop. I just... Dick. Enough. That's enough. Okay. Thank you. For, I'm sorry. Thank you for clarifying for people, Dick. I'm sorry. No, it's all right, Dick. After you after you climb that. Okay. okay, Dick. All right. <laughs> Do you feel weird right I, now? I feel Remember? filthy right now. Filthy. Just... <laughs> I feel like I'm trapped in someone's belly fold. So, yeah. um... And then I, you know, usually I, if I can't tell that the woman has, you know, also arrived at her destination, mm-hmm. which is most of the time. I, um, you want to interject here, Dick Jones, or you good? I ain't saying nothing no more. Y'all jump on every damn thing that come out of my mouth. Well, because we're not used to things coming out. We're used to things going in. Oh, I figure you go there. Uh, anytime I mention food in my mouth, you're going to make yeah. fun of my belly. No, it's called tough love. All right, Dick. I'm out this piece, man. No, Dick, calm down, Dick. Fuck this place, man. No, Dick. Okay, bye. No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. All right, Dick. Bye. No, I guess you seeped through the door. It didn't even open and close. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when you finish and you've sensed that she most likely hasn't because you came too soon. Get a little, let's... Let's face it; it's rare for me to to achieve that in someone else. Uh, so I was like, "Did you? Uh, did you? You know?" And she's like, "Oh, I did." And I was like, "Really?" Because it didn't seem like you did. Yeah. And she goes, "I'm stealth like that. I I I just do it. I'm and, stealth like that." And then we did it again, and we did it again. And I was like, and then again, I I was like, "I'm sorry, you, you didn't. You know, I'm sorry." She's like, "Oh, I did." I was like, "What?" She's like, "I did. I'm just sneaky about it." Do you believe her, or did you? Sh- because sometimes I, I, I get. It. I've had insecurities with girls before when they've said they've come. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. I'm not talking about her. No, I have no insecurities with Tom Hanks. That you totally not true. Want to talk about? No, but sometimes you know you complete. Yes, the girl. If she's completed. She says yes. Do you believe it? Right. Like this girl, she's hiding whether she, apparently she's stealthily coming. I don't Mm -hmm. understand that at all. Right. But sometimes a girl will say, yeah, yeah, I came. Just like, what do they just (laughs) give up? (laughs) Like they don't want to, they don't want you hammering away at them anymore. They're like sick of it. So like, yeah, yeah, I came, Greg. Sure. Just end (laughs) it. If they're saying it like that, odds are they're lying. Right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Jesus. Well, they don't say it like that. They'll say, yeah, 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 yeah. I dated a girl once who told me months later that she was faking the connection we had. What do you mean she was? While in coitus. What? To keep me connected to her. She would fake the connection that we had during sex. Like the... Back up. What What do you mean the connection? The connection, I mean, like like looking at each other. You know. Oh. Do you always close your eyes and, and just zone out on sex or do you like i mean i don't know I, I, it's hard to explain it it sounds super legends of the fall you don't you don't mean physically you don't mean like connection as in literally your dingus in her hoo-hoo no no grow up grow up imran one time i was afraid about that with a girl what do you mean afraid i literally was like am i inside right now or not Oof. i can't tell she had a mall of a vagina, didn't she? I, a cavernous oh mall <laughs> of a vagina. She shall henceforth be known as Mall of America. How did you not know you were in? I mean, for like a brief period of time, I was like, am I in right now? I can't tell. Because, you know, we were... Okay, I'm going to get TMI, but like we were <laughs> starting to do it and... You know, to gain some arousal, there was some rubbing action, and you were it, rubbing the rubbing yourself? got intense, and she was getting intense, and I was like, wait a minute, am I... Did I just go inside you? I don't know what's going on anymore. And then quickly, 
I was like, no, no, now I am. Now I am. Okay. <laughs> but, but, but there was a, a brief period of time there where I wasn't sure. Um, no, I, I, the stealth thing, I, cause I, I said to her, I said, look, if you didn't, that's fine. You can, I'm okay with that. I just, you know, obviously I, it, it, I, I, I'm the type of person when I'm, uh, having intercourse that it's more exciting for me to have the other person arrive yeah. than it is for me to arrive. Well, um, you just don't want to feel guilty or, or less of a man at the end. I'm not going to lie. That's that's a part of it too. That that's a part it. of it too. Yeah, I don't have to worry after I come if she's come already that I yeah, haven't exactly. satisfied her and I haven't yeah. been enough of a man and all that yeah. bullshit. But 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 I will say it is true when a woman gets off that just it it's oh it turns me on. Oh, like there's crazy. nothing hotter. There's nothing hotter. Nothing. 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 You ever ever girl orgasm and they uh, queef? As they orgasm? No, that's disgusting. If she did, I would kick her out. Okay. There would only be the one time because uh, hey, hey, that's not hey, happening. Hey, what, Dick? What's the queef, man? Imran, you want to explain? Dick doesn't know. Uh-uh. Uh, a queef, Dick. I, you know, I don't even think I know. I, th- it's just a build up. Of, it's a, it's a v- vaginal fart. It's a vart. Hmm. Okay. I right, see you, Dick. Uh, so anyway, um, I listen. I, I think Dick was I expecting just, something more exciting than that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Dick can suck my dick. All right. I'm doing the best I fucking can right now. I'm thinking oh, about that girl because she was kind of hot, and I want to have sex Lord with her again. <laughs> oh, what is my life? Uh, yeah, it's it's. I'm hot too. Well, I'm glad we revived the man sex hour uh, here on the Wiener Shake Show. I'm glad. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, give us a call seven three two. You you almost two, just gave your fucking six. number out. That's a New Jersey number. No, wait. It's not 732. Jesus. Uh, I almost got it. Well, hang on. Hey, get it together, shake. Hey, give us a call. 302-729-3664. Uh, you can text us also. 302-729-3664. All right. Let's wrap it up. All right. Um, I got I, I to gotta go crank a load. I actually really do have to crank a load out, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go roll up on Tom Hanks and and uh, 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 cuddle her. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be real hot. Do you? Is it appropriate huh. to watch porn and jerk off to porn when you're in a committed relationship? It's 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 circumstantial upon the relationship you're in. Ooh, what does that mean? I think that if a girl, let's say it's a good relationship, then. It depends on your porn intake. Private. It's it's you're you're privately just like I gotta yank it out. I don't see a problem with it. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't. I don't. But see, that's the thing. I don't like invade her privacy. If she wants to go frig herself off to some fucking porn, do it. I don't care. I'm not threatened by it. I don't need to know about that's it. That's hot. Now, if she wants to watch it together, yeah. No, 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 no. None of that. That's what? weird. I'm talking about. That's weird. No. That's weird. not weird. Obviously, you haven't done it. Watching porn with other people, significant other or friends, is weird. With the girl. What if you guys are, like, both turned on by the same thing? I don't want you looking at some, like, horse-dicked dude. Because it's going to make me feel inadequate, and it's going to make you want something better. The root of all ruined relationships is insecurity, my friend. At the core. No, 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 no. See, Greg? No, no, no. The, see, you're trying to... Pr- Listen... When you get in a good relationship... Oh, please tell me how. Yes. You have to go full hands on deck and try to keep her from finding out the truth, which is that there is better out there. So you do everything in your power to continually, constantly, consistently, the three C's, fool her into thinking she can't get much better than you. Good night. Yeah. All right. Okay. I, I I gotta I gotta crank one out because uh, you know as you know as our listeners know yeah. I hate to crank it out while I'm sleepy because then I fall asleep during the climax and right I want to avoid that. Goodbye, bitches. Bye. Bye. Hey, gang! A special little bonus feature. We have a local group, Miami-based Blackheart. 
This is their song, Pound 3009, or hashtag 3009. You can find them on Instagram, Blackheart. Just how it sounds, one word. They're also on SoundCloud. They're great. And this is their song. Thank you. Bye. Bye. No, Dick. No, I want to say that like you and Imran. Funny little camel. Ah. It's Black Heart. Yo, Keys, tell them where we at. Yo, bitch. What's your mission if you ain't winning? Me wasting time is like gossiping. Get into the money, yeah, that's a given. Strap up two times, never catch you slipping. Even when I'm done, yeah, I ain't finished. When you're making moves, you gotta see it coming. Hate, hate your niggas, never wanna see you winning. That's why I drive by windows now, big grinning. Yeah, laying niggas don't exist here. Check in, pay the fare, my city ain't changed, nigga, beware. CPR flow, clear. Bonafide the illest nigga rapping here. Yeah, feel you're the only thing I fit. Yeah, on y'all niggas wear. So I grab a will to stay clear. Y'all ain't got a reason, y'all ain't worth nothing. All these words in the world, feeling y'all ain't saying nothing. You gotta let me out of you niggas, it's not a challenge. I'm infallible, y'all come a look like Jimmy Fallon. I don't wish luck, I want it all. Yeah, nigga, I ain't sharing black heart. The best parent thing, not then you're hard to hear it. Hear me? Yeah. I know I'm ill, I know you not. Nah. I know what's real, I know you not. Nah. You punch the clock, I control my clock. Yeah. They say you talking like you've been here before. I studied again, the more than just check the score. Boy, the missteps that was made before. You wanna climb to the top, I wanna soar, cause I know better. When money comes, the hope comes, more wetter. When you a trendsetter, you can last forever. This an open letter to rap rappers who think they can rap more for more with us, you know better. Bar for bar. Life for life, this is me, we gon' be alright uh. Check me out you gotta understand the brain, understand the pain Gotta understand when I'm spitting, I'm spitting the rain And the fire all mixed together, it's forever Can't do shit, I mix just like the weather One day it's cold shit, one day it's hot Gotta do it, gotta nose ring like I'm Tupac, but I'm not Did you see what he did for black people? Gotta do this shit till we all fucking equal We all on the same team, we think the same things We dream the same dreams, we are amazing We are not waiting for you to say things To make us remember all the slaving We did for this country Layers of free labor, no fucking money I see the future and it's looking sunny But how the fuck we want kids that still live, they still hungry These dollar bills here to build, they still want it The rich can't feel the feel of real stomachs They up up in the millions, billions, no hundreds Now all of a sudden, trillions soon coming They up they in an alliance Trying to multiply us, they're waiting for the riots System bias wired They want us to kick rocks, divide it in solitary confinement Shit, we don't got time for that Name a nigga that's alright with that I don't even show love, I can feel it in my blood Niggas know I got that iron back And everything gon' be fine I recline to the decline On my line three times Friends wishing they could rewind Beyond the future, hashtag 3009 website hollowspiritstudios.com please rate review subscribe and share and to reach out to greg wiener or imran shake feel free to message us at the wiener shake show on our facebook page or call 302 raw dong that's 302-729-3664 thank you again for listening to the wiener shake show i'm oprah wiener